Hey guys, it's Rena. Welcome back to my channel. So this is uh, the last video I'm filming today, and I've been wearing this makeup in the past couple videos, so sorry if you're getting sick of it, but I guess finally the last video I'll film for today will kind of explain what lipstick I'm wearing, though. Um, so I guess I'll quickly... <laughs> this is like an awkward beginning, but I want to get into the background of why I did this look today, and it kind of ties into one of the products we'll be talking about, so... Um, I am a big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race, um, and currently they are on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 2, and I've been watching it every week, and I'm obsessed. Um, I love the show, I love almost all the queens, there's a couple that I'm not a big fan of, but they inspire me so much, and last night's episode, this is being filmed on the 1st of October, so, or it wasn't last night either. So the September 29th episode, I think it's called Dra uh, Drag Fish Tank, I think it's what it's called, um, Katya, oh my god, she did the most amazing makeup, and it just, I, I could not, like, I know it sounds so stupid to say, like, oh my god, I can't even, but I couldn't even, I was dying, um, it was beautiful, and she did this really nude lip, and this beautiful yellow eye, and she had yellow nails, and it just, the combination and the juxtaposition of the two really appealed to me, and I decided that today I was going to try and recreate it. Well, originally I was going to use a different lip color, but then, but then, a certain lipstick came in the mail. Anyway, getting back to my story, RuPaul's Drag Race really helped me through some like not so great times last year when I was feeling really down and really not myself and just kind of not in a good mental space. Um, it, it was like my first year at school and so things were not the best. And um, I noticed that I hadn't been wearing makeup for weeks. There was weeks at a time where I wouldn't wear makeup and that was really uncharacteristic for me. And um, I could tell something just wasn't right, like I wasn't feeling myself. And out of nowhere, I kind of just started watching RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix. And the first episode, I was like, this is so dumb. Lip sync, lip sync for your life. Like, this is so stupid. And then I kept watching it, and I couldn't stop watching it. And it made me feel better about myself. Like, there was something about it that just empowered me. And I don't know. I felt better after watching it. I just felt better, more confident. Um, all Like, the queens on the show just inspired me so much to actually go back and play with my makeup and get back into it and be creative. And that really helped me kind of pull myself out of that rut I was in. Um, now, of course, I still have those moments. I still have those periods of time where I just fall back into that, like, down feeling. But RuPaul has really helped me, and the show has helped me so much. And I know that sounds stupid probably to some people, but when you like to do makeup and creative things like that, um, it's concerning when you don't feel like doing it, and not having that creative drive is sad. And being able to see these queens do this and come up with such amazing visual creations is very inspiring. So, now that I've rambled and probably been, you know, TMI, Sugar Pill put out another kimchi product. <laughs> One of my very first, if not my first, makeup video on YouTube had to do with the kimchi eyeshadow that Sugar Pill released. So, I had to, guys. Sugar Pill, the creator, the owner of Sugar Pill, Amy slash Shrinkle, um, as she goes by on various social media platforms, um, she's very good friends with a lot of the queens who have been on Drag Race and other queens as well. But in particular, you know, she's really good friends with Trixie Mattel, Kimchi, all those amazing people. So she and Kimchi have collaborated, and it's just the most amazing thing. And I will link down below in the info section to my video review of the eyeshadow. But she released the liquid lipstick. And um, it's called kimchi, just like the eyeshadow. I think that could have been maybe a little better thought out because this can be confusing. But um, the box is adorable. It's the same type of color as the eyeshadow box was, um, but it also has this lavender. And it says, created in collaboration with kimchi, Chicago-based drag queen, and live action anime character. And it says, you are a QT by kimchi. And I think that's Pocky. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. Really cute. 
And then it says on the side, matte lavender gray injected with heavenly iridescent violet and turquoise sparkle. Our unique liquid cream blends, wait, our unique liquid cream blend keeps your lips feeling soft and sweet all day. Vegan and cruelty free. So this video will not only be on kimchi, but I will also be talking about trinket. Now, I've been holding off doing a video on Trinket just because it hasn't been available um, anymore. It was kind of a mess when it first came out. Um, I did not get it during the, the initial couple releases. It was a mess. They oversold, and then they couldn't follow uh, like up on the orders for months. It was just kind of a mess. And then when they re-released it finally, it was a different color than the original release, and yeah. I managed to get my hands on it because I posted like an in search of post on I think Instagram and someone alerted me that Amy was selling a bunch of defective ones on Depop. The only defect mine had was that the box was like scratched. That's all. It wasn't like the product was defective, it was packaging. So I have Trinket. I believe this is the second release, so it's the more brown one of the two. There's a more pink tone and a more brown tone. I'm not sure what the new one's going to be. I should have told you first. They're restocking Trinket. That's why I'm talking about it. Um, Trinket is being restocked on this upcoming Monday, which will be the 3rd, October 3rd. It's being restocked on Sugar Pulse website. So I figure now is the time to talk about this, review the formula um, and everything, and also be able to talk about the new one, Kimchi. Um, because now I won't feel bad about talking about something that you can't get your hands on. So here we go. I'm going to talk about kimchi first just because it is what I'm wearing. Um, I just got this the other day and um, so I don't have too many deep thoughts about the particular formula pertaining to kimchi, but I have worn Trinket long term so I can give you know a review on that. Okay, kimchi's packaging is beautiful. It's very reminiscent of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, except that it has a white cap and it has the kimchi logo here with a cute little pair of lips. And then over here it has this gold dripping from this heart, the sugar pill logo. Really, really beautiful. And on the bottom it says kimchi, uh, liquid lip color, and it has all the information about size, etc. So they are, let me see if I can find it. They are are five grams or 0.18 ounces um just to give you a size an idea size they are like they said like a liquid and cream blend um that's very accurate in my opinion i think that's a great way of describing it it's not quite a liquid lipstick like you would think a cat von d would be but it's definitely not like a regular lipstick because it's it, you know in this format so when you open it up it has a doe foot like this, very similar to many other liquid lipsticks, but it has almost like a thicker formula. So I'm actually going to swatch it on my right hand because my other hand has lipstick remnants. So let me go ahead and swatch it. It's definitely thicker. You can almost like just, I don't know, in the way that it so sounds and feels when it bounces in and out, it's thicker. So this is the kimchi color. And once it dries, I'm going to pat it so you can see the shimmer. Um, at first when I put it on, I was like, okay guys, where's this turquoise shimmer? Cause like, you know, I was already gonna buy this, but that's what really sold me. Um, with both of these colors, kimchi and trinket, you really have to pat it to get the shimmer to come out. Um, this one has a donut scent because of kimchi's whole like donut come for me. I can see it. It smells like icing and it kind of smells like cinnamon to me, like a cinnamon donut. Um, but it's not overpowering. Honestly, I didn't even notice that it had a scent until I remembered it was supposed to and I went back and opened it. So if you're, you know, really sensitive to scents, I don't think it's going to be an issue because I couldn't even tell that it was there. Um, trying to let it do its thing. But it is what I have on. I've had to reapply it a couple times today just after I ate, but I brushed my teeth and things like that. But it applies very nicely. You really only need one coat to make it totally opaque, which is somewhat rare for colors like this. A lot of times I find they're very streaky, so I was impressed that it only took one coat. Um, but then again, it is a slightly thicker formula, so maybe that's why. And I think that's probably why it takes a little bit longer to dry, but not too long. It's not excessive. Um, this color is a lot more flattering than I thought it was going to be, and it's 
really wearable. I think it's actually kind of a cool, like, different take on a nude. If you built it up, it would probably look more purple, but it, to me it just looks like a gray, dead purple nude color, and I love it. So I'm going to try and... I don't know if you're even going to be able to tell on camera, honestly. Probably not. But there is shimmer in there. Maybe you can kind of see it. It's hard to see, but it's there. There's some really pretty violet and aqua shimmer. If I lean in, I don't know if you'll even be able to tell. Awkward shots, you know. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on and show you Trinket. So this is not what the packaging is going to look like. I think the packaging will look more like this side of kimchi. Um, so this is the limited edition packaging. Sorry if you really like it. Um, it's just, it's a permanent product now, which is great. It's just not going to have this packaging anymore. This one, oh yeah, I love the smell of this one, but it is strong. This one has a creamsicle scent, like an orange and cream type of thing. Um, I love the way it smells. There was an old Bath & Body Works Liplicious that smelled just like this, and I used to love it. Um, but it's, apparently, I think they're toning down the scent a little bit for this re-release. So, again, if you're sensitive to smell, I think they're accommodating that a little bit more. Um, anyway, this one is kind of like a mauve-y... I, I don't know. I hesitate to call it mauve. That's what Sugar Pill calls it. Mine is definitely more orange, and I know a lot of people were upset about this. Mine is definitely more orange than the site originally said, um, but this is what the second release looked like. It's like a orangey kind of deep color, kind of pink-ish with golden shimmer, and you can definitely, I think, see the gold a little bit better in here than you can see the turquoise and kimchi, if that makes any sense. Um, oh, I just ruined my kimchi swatch. Oh. Um, but yeah, there you go. You can see the gold in Trinket. It's a beautiful shade. Um, when it dries, what you do, or what I do, if I, if you want the shimmer to show up, um, once it's fully dried, just kind of like pat it like this, and it should kind of come up a little bit more. If you don't want the shimmer to be very noticeable, just don't push your lips together like that or rub it. Um, and it should just stay like this pretty color. Um, but the shimmer definitely shows up more with pressure. So um, if you want it to be really shimmery, you definitely can get it there. Um, okay, formula, so comfortable. I was so happy when they came out with another color and that it was kimchi, of course, um, because I love the formula. It's very comfortable, very lightweight, not drying in the slightest. Um, sometimes if you put a little too much on, it can almost feel like sticky. But that's if you do like two coats and really you don't need to do co two coats unless you really want like a certain real specific look. Um, but you don't have to do that. I'm trying to get this. Yeah. Okay. If I'm patting it like that and you can really see the gold. There you go. You see what I mean? How if you pat it like the gold shimmer comes out so much more. Um, and the same thing with kimchi here. I'm sorry about the trinket mess that happened, but can you see the shimmer around it now? Yeah. By patting it like that, you get that shimmer to come out. It's not glitter. Um, actually, Shrinkle posted about that, that it's not glitter, so if you're allergic to glitter or worried about it, it's not. It doesn't feel chunky at all or gritty. No. It's very seamless and smooth. So that's like A+. Plus. Um, you all know I'm a huge sugar pill fanatic, and I like liquid lipsticks, but I also have dry lips. So these are fantastic because they're hydrating, they don't make my lips feel dry, and they're a very comfortable formula. Um, I wish they co would come out with more shades because two, you know what I mean? Like, oh please, like these are gorgeous, especially with that amazing shimmer in them. Um, but yeah, I know people are going to be excited to get their hands on Trinket, so I wanted to kind of show you guys the color, um, and I'd been hesitating too before. So Sugar Pill is one of my favorite Lip, liquid lipstick formulas that I have, um, and I'm really glad to at least have two, um, especially a purple, because you guys know I love my purples. Um, but yeah, Trinket will be available Monday, um, October 3rd, on Sugar Pill's website. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be more pink. If it ends up being more pink, I might, I might buy it. I'm not going to lie. I know it sounds wasteful, but like this is not the original color, and if it ends up being more like the original color, I 
after seeing some swatches, I might rebuy it. This one's beautiful too, don't get me wrong. Like that is, that's a stunning color combination. It's just not what was originally advertised. Um, so basically, in, sh in sum, kimchi is beautiful. It's a gorgeous kind of lavender gray nude um, with lovely shimmer that's not too overpowering. Um, Trinket is a beautiful kind of orange pink with golden shimmer that actually can be made really intense. Um, they're beautiful, both of them. And the packaging is great. It's very sturdy. The actual box is adorable. And these are $18. So they're about standard for a liquid lipstick. Um, I highly recommend them. If you're in the market for a liquid lipstick and you want something more unique, these are definitely the way to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you picked up either of these um, or what your favorite liquid lipstick formula is. And I will hopefully talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.